Filmazon.com's Nikolai Adams here with Jason Warner Smith. Thank you for joining me. My, my pleasure, Nikolai. My, my pleasure. So let's start with The Walking Dead. Yes. You're part of Negan's crew. You're one of his main henchmen. Yes. You handle uh, the kingdom. Yep. So your character's interesting in that, whereas most of the characters are just ominous, you kind of play him, he seems a little bit more fair, a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. Um, so. Do you come to the character with a specific mindset? I'm not playing him as a necessarily an antagonist. Like, how do you, how do you frame him? Were you referencing maybe another actor, another performance you had seen in the past? Or? Well, I just I, I think it's uh, I like all, even when I play very bad or evil characters, I want them to have some sort of redeeming value about them, some sort of humanity, about them. something that makes the audience be able to go well that was me maybe I might do the same thing you know, I, can, I understand why they're doing what they're doing and that was my goal there was a day on the set my very first day on the set after a couple of takes Greg Nicotero was directing okay. this is nothing negative against him he was just trying some things and he said hey do you want to show him like, yeah I want to show him Greg he goes well you're the guy that plays Simon I'm like, yeah yeah he goes well, you're not his brother, but you could be like his brother. You know, let's try one where you're a little more crazy and wild and you know that kind of fun kind of thing. And I did a couple of takes. It's like, oh, just, just go back to what you're doing. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, that's Stephen Ogg's thing. I mean, that's if you've ever seen him or met him off camera in a candid setting. That's how he is. He's yeah. all, ah, you know. And I'm, I can't, I could fake that. It'd yeah. be fake. Yeah. And they, most of the actors on that show are a lot like their characters. Mm. Within, you know, within reason, of course. But yeah, I've met a few of them, and Michael Rooker's kind of like the way he is, and yeah, yeah for and sure. That's, and, that's, and that's a compliment to us as actors, that, but then we take and add something to it, you yeah. know. And, and, and so, that's, Gavin's a lot like me. Um, people ask me, what did Gavin do before the apocalypse? We don't really know. Yeah. But I made up, and Scott Gimple went, yeah. You know, I, I was like a construction crew manager. Okay. I ran a crew, yeah. so I was used to. So why you're managing? Right. Yeah. I'm good at managing. I'm good at getting things handled. I'm good at taking care of business. I follow orders well, and that's. But I'm fair, mm -hmm. and I don't like Negan's way, but it's what I'm stuck with. So that's why I have Jared, the idiot, with me. Yeah. I, you're not an idiot, Josh. But. Uh, <laughs> To do my dirty work. Yeah. And that's the only reason why. Why don't you just whack that guy? He's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Well, I need him there to do the Negan stuff. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's why I want to play him. And was there one actor in particular or one scene with a specific actor that was just so much fun that kind of sticks out in your mind? Oh, well, my final scenes with uh, Lenny James when he's hunting me down like Jason Voorhees was awesome. And I mean, he never spoke really much. Okay. He just said no. That was all he said to me, the whole thing. And being there with him was a dream come true for me to be able to work with him. a very high caliber actor mm -hmm. and a very intense scene. Getting to do that crazy, desperate pleading. I've always wanted to play a role like that. And when I got the script, I was like, yeah. Very happy, so I'll never forget that moment. So now your character in American Made yeah. is, is a little bit different. Very a different. A little bit more hyper, a little bit yeah. more... Um, That's my crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so fascinating role. You're, you're, you're the right-hand man, basically, of Tom Cruise's you know, your second-in-command pilot, well, yeah. so to speak. Pretty much. And uh, so what was it like, again, playing a completely different character? Was that, did you pull from, again, somewhere else? What was that, was that just... Well, for the we, moment, how did you come up with yeah, that? Yeah, uh, it's funny, that audition came up and I saw, okay, this is a chance to be in a Tom Cruise movie. Mm -hmm. We've got to go all in. Yeah. So I actually went and got my hair uh, highlighted with blonde highlights because the at, the at the time, the character was much different. Okay. And I didn't know anything about because Bill Cooper was a real person who really died in that plane crash at the end yeah. of the movie. And um, so I went, and he's supposed to be a surfer dude. Mm -hmm. Kind of find out Bill Cooper was not a surfer dude. He was just from California. But that's the route that we decided to go with the character. Yeah. So if any of his family is watching, I did not want to make fun of Bill Cooper. He was a patriot and a great American. But we were having a, a fun romp with this story. So I want to make sure that people are happy to see that. And that's I knew that going in. But at the audition, I show up with the hair all blonded out, bleached, and I'm like, dude, it up, and having my inner Spicoli come yeah. out, and had a lot of fun. And the taping went great, and then I got a call back and met with Doug Lyman, and uh, uh, 
Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't really know who else was there because I hadn't met him yet. Okay. But uh, Ray Angelic was there, I think he told me later. Kim Roth was there. And just went in and did that whole bit again. And, I, and the audition was kind of... But then I started ad-libbing and the director like, yeah, 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 more like that. Now go back and do the whole thing like that. We did the whole thing like that. And then a week later, boom, I got the call. And I was like, I'm going to be a Tom Cruise movie. Now, I know Tom Cruise did a lot of his own flying. Did you, like, how, how did that yeah. work with you? Well, I was in the pilot seat of those planes in the air. And there was a real pilot sitting in the co-pilot seat flying the plane. But I flew the plane. I mean, I didn't take off and land, but yeah. I don't know if you've ever flown a small engine plane. No. It's not that hard yeah. if you're in perfect weather in the air. It's just like driving a car pretty much. It's the landing and the takeoff is yeah. the tricky bit. And, and that's in weather. You don't want things to go wrong there. No. So, um, but there was always a very, very experienced pilot sitting next to me okay. flying the plane, and they would just kind of lean back and they would green screen them out and things like that. But we were. You know, thousands of feet in the air flying those planes. Or what whatever. fascinating and what a, what a, oh, what a, it is the greatest on experience. On film, amazing. Yeah, yeah. and there's a helicopter off the scene. window. Yeah, and there's a helicopter <laughs> off the window. I mean, literally, you know, 10 feet off the wing shooting the whole thing. And Because the pilot goes, don't turn the wheel to the left. I'm like, why? He goes, we don't want to hit the helicopter. And I'm like, Jesus, there's a freaking helicopter <laughs> flying next to us. And it was, yeah. Now, I always kind of... The sleeping scene, yeah. I, that's amazing. We shot it twice. We shot it once in Colombia, and then we shot it again in the Gulf of Mexico. Wow. Yeah. Now, the, uh, you know, I always think of Tom Cruise as almost a throwback to the silent era stars. Yeah. In a sense that he does everything you see on screen. He throws himself into cars. He's never been on TV. Yeah. So, just, again, a fascinating character. What was your or actor, I should say? What was it like working with him? He is work, 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 work. Very dedicated. Very driven, very nice and cordial, but he's not my buddy or anything. He never sits, oh, Jason, tell me about your life. Yeah. It never happened. Uh, actually, uh, this probably one of the last days I was on the movie when we were shooting in New Orleans over the Gulf of Mexico, which was November. We started in June, and we've taken some breaks and come back, and taken some breaks and come back. We're all standing around the tarmac after a day of shooting or whatever, uh, the sleeping scene and all that stuff, and he goes, yeah, and then Jason over there, and I was like, that was my name. <laughs> I swear, he never never said, hey, Jason, we're going to do that, you know. Yeah. So he's always got the producer hat on, the actor hat on. He's yeah, always and he would always call me Bill, you know, that was my character. Bill, Bill's going to get a da-da. And uh, so it was nice to have that. And we had a, a few candid moments, but very few. Now, he's not a big talker. Now, Doug Lyman had a really good stretch. He's made some great films. Yes. What was it like working with him as a director? Doug is a freaking crazy human being. He, and I mean that in the nicest way. And Doug sees this. He would go, uh-huh. But he's just got a, he's got a, a really crazy sensibility about him. And he knows what he wants. And he's just... He's got a kind of a thousand yard stare when you're talking to him. He's just like, ah. you can tell he's thinking about other things, but he's listening to you at the same time. And he just he works off instinct a lot of the time. A lot of his movies, he's a he has a I've heard a reputation for a producer's kind of nightmare because he wants to reshoot, and change things, and come back and do things over. But it always pays off. Yeah, and it did again. Um, and he makes great movies, and he was a joy to work with. It was a lot of fun. Um, lots of fun. The whole thing was great. Now, my favorite question, one of your favorite films that may have influenced you uh, at some point, and why? Well, I don't know if it influenced me that much, but really one of my favorite movies that I could watch over and over again is Rushmore. Oh, really? I really? love... I love Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson, yes. I can watch The Life Aquatic over and over again. Rushmore. Grand Budapest Hotel. Grand Budapest is not on the highest part yeah. of the list, but I can watch that. Uh, the the uh, Royal Tenenbaums. That's like my wheelhouse. The Tenenbaum, Rushmore, Tenenbaums, Life Aquatic. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, I just love his films, but Rushmore... I think secretly I want to be that guy. Jason Schwartzman's character? I wanted to be Jason Schwartzman's character. Somehow, I don't know why. I mean, I didn't go to boarding school. Yeah. I wasn't rich as a kid, but I somehow in the back of my mind, I always thought I'd like to have gone away to school. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know why. Bill Murray's classic in that movie. Oh, yeah. Everybody's great in that movie. Um, it's just, 
I love that movie. I could watch it over and over again. And, and as a director, he's got such a unique visual style. He's just so impressive. It is. It is. He's. He's. It's a Wes Anderson style. Yeah, exactly. He's created his own style. You got the Hitchcockian. You got the Wes Anderson style. Yeah, very yeah. centered. Camera moves like this. The camera moves like that. Yeah. You know, it's not a lot of doll. There's no. It's always mounted. The camera's never handheld. And I just love it. And the fact that he could spend two, two and a half years making animated features. Mm -hmm. I just saw Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs, yeah. And it's not as funny and as fun and fr frivolous as uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Nice alliteration. Um, but it's it's a piece of art. Yeah. And it just comes to life. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, and I would I hope to get to work with him someday. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I would love to. You never know. You never know. Well, I don't really fit his profile of an actor, so. Anyway, I truly appreciate this. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Nikolai. My pleasure. Thanks, guys. Thank you.